Joining us now is your Silver Fern Player of the Year. It is Sam Winders. Thank you so much for joining us, Sam. What does it mean to you to take away this award? Um, it's pretty special, definitely. It was a very big shock. I was kind of like, are you joking? Um, but it's, yeah, I guess it's been um, a pretty interesting year in the netball um, on, in the netball arena. So, yeah, it's, I guess it's just nice. Um, and a, a shame, obviously, we're not all together um, to have a really fun evening. But, yeah, cool that we can do it um, anyway. You now have amassed 44 test caps. You're looking down the barrel of 50. What keeps you striving to wear that black dress? It's, I guess for me, wearing the black dress has been something I have, you know, wanted to do since I was a little girl, looked up to um, all the silver ferns that wore it um, before me. And so I think the fact that it is a really big privilege generally just to wear it uh, and be part of something that, you know, has such big history, um, you know, it, it's not just about me, it's about everyone else. And the feeling of running into an arena when the stadiums are full, of course, is pretty awesome as well. So I think that that challenge um, as well of going up against, you know, the uh, other best netballers, not just in the world, but in your own team as well and in New Zealand to, to get those spots on the court just keeps it really interesting and, and is a really good battle for me, I guess. Now, 2021 has been challenging for a multitude of reasons, but there's been some real highlights as well. What are your pick of the highlights? Um, Got to be, for me, definitely at the start of the year, beating the Australians in the Constellation Cup. I've been in a couple of Constellation Cup attempts um, where some years it didn't go so well, uh, we didn't even get one win, um, and then other years it was really close, and then so to actually um, come away with the trophy this year was pretty spectacular, and it kind of feels like so long ago that we did that uh, but I guess also the fact that there has been some netball this year and not just you know franchise netball but some international stuff against you know some of the top teams in the world uh, is a really big bonus of course. This year it's a new or next year I should say for you a new coach new teammates a whole new look magic how good has it been to be back together for pre-season? It's been awesome. Um, I think awesome. The first week has been pretty tough, first couple of weeks um, of hitting the netball court again when until then you've kind of been doing your own thing for a little bit, so the body's definitely feeling it, but so much fun to be around. You know, these new players, we've got, our, we've got a few returning ones, but also the likes of Bailey and Claire and Katrina, who I've played with before, but to have them part of the Magic team and just welcoming them, welcoming them in and just, you know, hanging out again, getting some coffees, um, has been really fun. Challenges ahead still in 2022. What are your aspirations? What do you want to nail? I guess there's a couple of opportunities next year to travel overseas, which um, is, you know, something that not many people get to do these days anymore. So just to get out of New Zealand, hopefully on um, the January tour and then, you know, the, the Commonwealth Games next year coming up to, I guess that's in everybody's minds as well. So it would be awesome to be able to compete in that again. Um, and I think in terms of our domestic league, just putting together um, a consistently strong performance um, with the team and, yeah, I guess do something a bit different as well. I mean, we were reflecting that for some of us, it's, you know, it's my ninth pre-season, but for the likes of Katrina, it's her 15th or 16th pre-season. So what are we going to do this year that makes this season a little bit different as well? So I guess watch this space. Well, congratulations on the award, and we can't wait to see you out there in the black dress reaching your 15 next year. Congratulations. Thanks, Adine.